so I'm trying to explain. So if you transfer calls directly to an extension, uh, that phone will ring. And if you have the access to your computer, your, um, the user, each user have a timeout. The default timeout for that user is 30 seconds, which means that if someone calls in, if, if someone is transferring a call to um, the extension 114, and the extension 114 doesn't answer the call in the time frame of, of, of um, 30 seconds, the call will go to voicemail. It's currently 10 seconds, so yeah, I would know what you're saying. Okay, so the answer is all calls go to voicemail when there's too many calls. That's the answer to your question. Exactly. See, I wish you had said that. Yeah. I've been on the phone for 59 minutes and 54 seconds. I wish that was said to me, oh, I don't know, 56 minutes ago. I'm so sorry about that, sir, but um, the person you were speaking with was from the level one department. I don't know if they know. know they don't know anything. It doesn't matter. Not important. important. Not important. Totally not important. So. You can't help us, and you don't have a feature to help us. I understand. No, sir. Um, what you're looking for is, is what we don't have. Um, it's called queuing. Queue you can queue calls up calls. And, and, but you do not offer any kind of call queuing. Um, well, ask me if you could do a mini IVR on my on an extension. The only options that you have is the auto attendant and the group, which um, would not work at the call queuing to answer it. Okay, here's an, I have another question. Within someone's voicemail, can someone in their voicemail say, if, uh, if, you, well, could they have if you want to continue to hold, if hit 1. If you want to continue to hold, press 1. If you want to leave a voicemail, press 2. Is that a kind of an option for them at all? Do you have anything that allows that in your system? Yeah, if you want to work it that way, um, what you will actually need to do, if you want to do that for each um, user, you will need to create a group for each user, and that group will have an extension number different from what the user have. Creating a group, you do have the option where um, you can increase the amount of timeout. The timeout can be up to um, maybe 20 minutes, like 50 minutes, waiting inside of the um, group for someone to answer the phone. So if you send a call to a group, and you have the extension 114 within that group, um, the extension 114 can be on that call and still have a couple more calls instead of the group waiting for him to be available. But that's an option that you will need, need to create one group for each one of your users, which is a lot of groups. Now okay. keep in mind that creating these groups for each user, um, each group needs to have an extension number and also the user needs to have an extension number. So you will be working working with two extension numbers for the group and for the um, user. Just like how diesel sales is extension 125 or whatever it is in the yes. intermediate panel. So basically, we say, say for instance, yes, like right now we, we, have our, we have the two buildings and building one, mm -hmm. we have, actually have three buildings. Building one is 125 okay. and building three is 127. 